I'm back in Tahoe, my home away from home, and uh, I'm going to try and do something I've never done before. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go foraging for mushrooms. That doesn't sound like a really smart idea for somebody who's not a mushroom expert, but I'm only looking for one kind of mushroom, and um, <clears throat> they do have a false version of the mushroom, which is poisonous, but it's highly unlikely that you can die from the poisonous version. Anyway, as as much of a bad idea as this sounds, it, it's not. It's I'm going hunting for morels, and they're pretty unique. All joking aside, I've done my due diligence and research to correctly identify true morels. Disclaimer, foraging for mushrooms can be dangerous, in fact, deadly. Do not attempt without an expert or 100% thorough knowledge and identification of what you are hunting for. I'm serious, people die from eating deadly mushrooms. So, my only concern is finding them, because they're kind of hard to find. But I've done some research. I know that people up in the Lake Tahoe area in the last couple of days have found morel mushrooms. And apparently morels like to grow in burn areas. And there's been a lot of burn areas up, up here in Lake Tahoe in the last couple of years. Specifically, um, well, there's been the Tamarack fire and then there's been the Caldor fire. But the Caldor fire is the one that came really, really close to South Lake Tahoe. So I'm going to try to head over to one of the burn areas and hike around a little bit and see what I can see. This is a first. If it's a first for you, it's a first for me. But I know what a true morel looks like. I actually have uh, I have the field guide uh, mushroom I don't know, it's like the Audubon Society or something like that. And I've had that for a number of years, like over 20 years. So I've always been really interested in morels and have always wanted to go out and hunt for them. So today I'm gonna give it a go and we'll see. So this is another part of uh, Lake Tahoe that I've never been to before. I'm on a road called Fountain Place Road and it sometimes opens up and it sometimes doesn't. It's a single lane road. There are pullouts in case you meet any oncoming traffic. And I'm just completely exploring. <clears throat> I honestly thought I was going to have to hike this part, but I'm really, really excited that the road is opened. This is beautiful. Oh, I see another car coming. I feel like I found a hidden gem. Even if I don't find a morel, I, it, it, honestly, if I found one morel, it will be a success. That's what I originally thought. But now I'm thinking, I'm just excited that this road is open. Look how beautiful this is. I can see the Caldor fire up on the mountains. I wonder how close the fire got down to the residential elevation. I don't see any burned trees yet, but I just still have a ways to go. This is one of the things I love to do when I come up here. I know I've said it before on videos, uh, but I always try to find at least one new thing in Lake Tahoe. And I am extraordinarily happy that I found this. I wonder if that's Trout Creek. All right, I think this is as far as I can go. Looks like the road continues, but they have it closed off over there. That's not bad though. I am happy to park here. All right, <laughs> let's see if we can find some mushrooms. Okay, 
just uh, crossed past the gate and it had a sign that said you're entering the Caldor Fire Burn area. So that's a good thing. I mean, it's not a good thing that there was a fire here, but that's what we want when we're looking for morels. I'm excited. I see something that I must go investigate. It's not a morale, but it's pretty cool. Looky, looky, looky. We have snow flowers, baby snow flowers, just starting to pop up. Oh, these are awesome. These are just starting to emerge. They are so cool. I absolutely love snow flowers. I love the snow. I also get very depressed when the snow starts to melt, but um, I love it also because when the snow melts, the snow flowers start popping up. So I just saw those two over there. And just as I got up, I started seeing more over here. I see one, two, three, four more snow flowers over there. Let's go look at him. There's this guy right here. Oh, and I can see another one popping up. You can see that there's another one coming up right there. This is what they look like when they first pop up out of the ground. You don't see any of those flowers coming off of them. They have to grow up taller. They kind of look like a red artichoke. These ones are a little bit older. They're starting to bloom. See this part starting to unravel and the flowers are starting to come out. Well, I'm definitely entering the Caldor burn area. Not only does it look burned, it kind of has residual leftover burn smell to it. It's not a morel, but it's some sort of a mushroom, I think. It's squishy. I think there's another one over here. I don't know. Definitely not a rock. Oh my god, I found morels. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the first time I found a morel. I was starting to get discouraged. I didn't think I was gonna find any if I and I found some. Oh my god. Oh my god, I found morels. Okay, this is the first time I've ever found morels out in the uh out in the wild, how foresting or foraging. I'm I'm sorry, I'm I can't talk because I'm so excited. Here, check this out. Wow you guys, so cool. This is so cool. Look, look at it. It looks a little old, but oh my goodness, I found a morel, and then there's another one right there. And there's some right here. Wow. Oh my goodness. There's one right there. There's two right here. One right there. One here. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, let me inspect them and see if they're hollow, to see if they're a true morel.
Yep, that's a morel. It's hollow. Look at that. Wow, I'm so excited. That is so cool. Another one. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. I'm so excited. I can't believe I found morels. Success. Here's four. Look at this guy. This guy got like turned over. Ooh, look at that. Oh wow, I'm starting to see more of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see a lot of them. Oh my gosh. It's like a little morel colony over here. There's one here, there's a couple here, one here, one here, one here, here, here. Look at this one. Wow. Look at this big one right here. Look at that guy. Huge. Yay. Wow, I can't believe I found morels. I'm I'm just so amazed. Uh it was like an hour and a half into this and, you know, patience is starting to wear down. And then I just said, no, 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 take your time. Just keep your head to the ground. And sure enough, I found some. I'm gonna pick a few more. And uh, so I have been watching a few YouTube videos about morels and trying to make sure I'm doing proper morel etiquette. Don't take them all. Uh, but I'm definitely going to pin this on my Google Maps as a, um, a secret spot where I can come find morels. <laughs> So in that patch right there of green ground cover and pine needles, is where I found the morels. But what's interesting is right before I found them, I told you I found like a little um, white dried up I thought was a mushroom. And I can see that there's more of those growing on the side right here of this burned tree. I think those are mushrooms. Yeah. Now see, I have no idea what those are. So I'm just gonna leave those alone. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> no idea, but pretty cool. Oh, wow. And then check this out. It's another burn tree over here. And there's mushrooms growing all up it. Look at this. These same crazy mushrooms. Just growing all up this burned tree, all the way up the top. So if you know anything about mushrooms, chime in and tell me what those things are growing up the trees. But I'm guessing that if you see one kind of mushroom growing in a burn area, chances are there's going to be another kind of mushroom growing in the burn area in the way of a morel or two or a lot. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. I just met another forager and she asked me if I saw any or found any mushrooms. I did. 
and uh, I told her the area that I found them in. So hopefully she'll find some. I actually offered her a mushroom or two and uh, she declined, but hopefully she'll get some up there. I pointed her in the direction. I told her, look for mushrooms growing on the burn trees because that's kind of the thing that, that's where I found them. So hopefully she'll have good luck like I did. Good mushroom karma, gotta pass it on. That was maybe about mm, two, between two to two and a half hours. And that's not bad. That's, that's basically a hike. I would have been sad if I hadn't found any morels, but I found, again, a new place that I've never been to before, and I found a bunch of um, snow flowers. So, most successful. All right, well, that was just amazing. I really didn't expect to be that successful. I was hoping I would find one, and that would make me happy. And I was kind of resigned to the fact that I probably wasn't going to find any. I mean, I've never done this before. <laughs> and then, poof, there's a whole bunch of them right at my feet. So I'm going to take them home. Uh, I'm going to clean them up. And uh, probably going to eat them with some steak tonight. 20. 20 morel mushrooms. Not bad for my first time foraging for morels. Thanks for joining me on this morel hunting, this successful morel hunting adventure. I found them at 6,500 feet elevation. Now that I've got the fever, I wanna <laughs> hunt for more, but I think I'm gonna head back. I'm so stoked. Snowflowers, morels, and a brand new spot that I've never been to before here in Lake Tahoe. Thanks for joining me on this morel hunting adventure slash snowflower finding adventure slash I found a new place in Lake Tahoe that I've never been to adventure. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Every subscription really means a lot to me and my little channel I call Nick's Adventrex. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next adventure, wherever that takes me. Bye.